Now you're probably saying to yourself, huh, well, I still want that count, and that's, you know, it's a deal breaker all of a sudden. Well, not necessarily. You know, uh, granted, we can't put it inside of my lambda expression, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. So I'm going to actually come above here. I'm actually going to create sort of now that I'm working sort of uh, on the fly, I don't have a met, I don't have a class, sorry, uh, to kind of make class variables for, you know, this uh, lambda expression, but I can make them outside of it inside of my kind of bigger main class. And I can come in here and maybe do something like uh, private int OK count equals zero. All right. Well, then I can come in here and again, notice those curly braces. The curly braces just dictate that I can put blocks of code in here. And so before I do my system.out.println, I'm just going to add in an OK count plus plus. Notice there are no error messages popping up all of a sudden. Again, this is a private variable. It's only available inside of my class. And well, guess what? This is inside of my class. My Lambda expression is inside here. So guess what I can do? OK count. Well, if I wrote it correctly, OK count plus times times. I run this. I take a look at it. I hit OK. OK is pressed one time, two time, three time, four time, five time. And as you can guess, we can probably do the exact same thing with cancel. I'll come in here and I'll copy this OK count and I'll make it happen appear, well, make it appear a second time with cancel count. And then as you can guess, I want to take this code and I want to reduce all of this stuff down until all I have left is this guy. And then instead of OK count, I say cancel count. And instead of OK pressed, I say cancel pressed. And I probably want to keep track with cancel count instead of OK count. I run it, pull it up, OK, hit one time, two time, three time. Cancel has hit one time, two time, three time.